Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Ronka and I love to talk about travel, career, and general tips for living. Have you ever been on a vacation and needed a vacation after the vacation? Yeah, it happens to a lot of us. In this video, I'll be sharing some tips on how to recover from vacation quickly. Now, for most of us, when we go on vacation, we typically know that we're gonna go on vacation. It's something we're probably planning towards and we can prepare for in advance. In the same way, being able to quickly recover from a vacation and get back to the normal grind is possible when you plan ahead. The number one thing that I think will be very beneficial to help you recover quickly from a vacation is to have a clean house. Now, for a lot of people who pack at the last minute, this is kind of hard to do because if you're packing at the last minute, that means you're probably throwing stuff around that you decide not to take. You're probably leaving drawers open, leaving closets open, you know, probably leaving things a bit in a bit of a disarray. So if you actually pack a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit earlier, and you are able to then uh, clean your house or at least make sure that like your laundry is done, you know, certain things are done, that can help you when you get back so you're not then having to do all of that and also still prepare for work or whatever else it is that you have the next day. For me, on the last couple of trips that we've taken, even though it meant that I got a little bit less sleep the night before, I tried my best to make sure that laundry was done and certain things were done. You know, dishes were washed, put away, everything, just to make it a little bit easier when we came back. The second thing that I would recommend is to have your menu or kind of like what you wanna eat when you get back identified and to do your grocery shopping or have your grocery shopping ready right when you get back. I would not recommend doing grocery shopping right before you leave just because even if you're only gone for two days, like that's two days less freshness of your food that you have. So I think, um, you know, getting your fridge cleared, eating all your food before you go is great, but also making sure that you start thinking actively towards, okay, what do I want to eat the next week? Or what do I know that I need to buy more of? And then building that grocery list, like I mentioned, and doing a grocery pickup or grocery delivery or just really going to the grocery store yourself to get it but i would recommend having things kind of set so all you're doing is just actually getting the groceries and probably cooking the food versus now starting to think through like okay what do i need what, I, what do i not need that helps a little bit as well my third tip would be to build in a transition day or a few transition hours if possible once upon a time i went to la landed back from la at like 7 a.m local time and went to work that was such a miserable day i would never recommend that to anyone i feel that when you are traveling as best as you can build in even if it's just a few hours it will make a difference for you even if it had been like a half day that i was doing at work that day and maybe i went in in the afternoon i would have at least probably been able to go home and actually sleep properly in my bed and then gone to work um, I, I just I strongly believe that you need to have some transition time between your travel and whatever other activities that you have going on in life so that you can rest, relax, do whatever it is that you need to do. You need that time. The fourth tip that I would give is to get ahead on work before you leave. Now, I know a lot of us when we are about to go on vacation, we that's the last thing on our mind. OK, like we're trying to clock in our hours, get this work done, close that laptop and be out. But I honestly think whatever you can do to get yourself prepared for being back before you leave will be beneficial. One thing I like to do is I like to leave emails open if I know I haven't addressed them or sometimes I'll just like jot things down on a notepad just to kind of help level set myself when I get back so I already have an idea of where I left off versus now having to go figure out where I left off while still trying to dig through email. I think it's extremely important that whatever you can do to help prepare yourself before you go once again you should try to do. Finally, while you are still on vacation, if you can, try to use your last vacation day to start gearing yourself back to your normal grind. If this means that you're using your last vacation day to wake up early and get your, get your mind in the mode of working, do that. If it means that you're using that last vacation day to take care of some personal things, because I don't recommend working on vacation, do that. Whatever it is that you need to do that you feel is going to help you kind of set yourself up for success when you get back home and when you're back to your grind, I think it's important to do. Once again, I would not recommend working on vacation, so I'm not saying work for your job on vacation. What I'm saying is do your own personal things that you need to do to get yourself together on vacation before your vacation ends, if possible. For most of us, going on vacation is definitely a highlight. 
And while we may not want that highlight to end, we also don't want it to go from highlight to nightmare, trying to get ready for our real life situations. So the next time that you go on vacation, try implementing some of these tips and see how they work for you. As always, please make sure to like this video, share with others, and subscribe to my channel for more travel, career, and lifestyle content. See you next time.